at this juncture, I don't think I can vote for Hillary and have a good conscience. If she ends up truly being the one who wins the primaries for the Democrats, I think I may just write in uh, Bernie Sanders or I might not vote at all. But I just don't know if I can willingly vote for Hillary. She says anything she can based off of polls of Democrats uh, to try to get people to vote for her. And then once she's in office, she'll just do whatever it is that uh, the people who paid her the most money uh, want her to do. As I said in another video, I think she'll be the first one to cut, uh, to make cuts to Social Security. I mean, she and, uh, I mean, the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, is basically Romney Care with uh, bits of Hillary Care. And the bits of Hillary Care are the things that everyone can't stand about it. Well, not everyone. Some people seem to be brainwashed into thinking the idea that, uh, oh, well, let's force everyone to have insurance, and if you, do, if you don't get insurance, then you're going to be uh, fined. It's bullshit. That's bullshit. That, that is something that, that's made me angry from the start about, about the Affordable Care Act. That, that's a bullshit way to go about. Oh, well, if everyone has insurance, then it, then it makes it cost less all around. You know, that's bullshit. You, can, you, can't, you shouldn't be able to force someone to, to, to have a product purchase a product, to, to purchase a service. I don't think that's right. I think that goes against some of the very foundations of this government. And what's interesting is uh, Kyle from uh, Secular Talk uh, recently made a video about how Republicans, not the ones in office, but Republicans as individuals, are a lot more liberal than we're made to believe. Um, we're made to believe that most Republicans are like the ones that are in office. But the ones that are in office just... They're there for the corporations. They're there for whatever people have given them the most money. They're there for the NRA. They're there for the gun manufacturers. They're there for the insurance companies. They're there for corporations. You know, the, the polls, these polls are showing that the majority of Republicans believe in some sort of uh, gun regulations like uh, background checks. And that the majority of Republicans believe in universal health care. A whole, a whole shit ton of issues that show that the Republicans as individuals, not as the ones that are in office, believe in a lot more reasonable things than what what the ones in office are, are shoving forth. The ones in office don't give a shit about the people. They just say whatever they can to get the people to vote for them, so they'll, the people will vote against their own best interests. Just like in all these red states that uh, have the highest rates of uh, welfare use and the highest poverty rates and all of that shit. Go ahead, just vote against your own best interests. But I think about how under the Bill Clinton presidency, under the Bill Clinton administration, there were things done that Republicans could only dream of. NAFTA, uh, Don't Ask, Don't Tell, DOMA, number of things. Things that only that Republicans could only dream of, because Republicans will talk about these things, but if they try to implement, then they won't be allowed. But if a Democrat puts it forth, oh, guess what? It goes through. So I mean, as far as I'm, I mean, even even uh, Obama has made cuts to Social Security, even though he should be one of the ones that's that's you know trying to to <laughs> revitalize it. No, let's not do that. Let's not expand uh, uh, Medicare. No, let's 
Obamacare and make cuts to Social Security. You can, you can guarantee that same sort of shit and more is going to happen under Hillary. Oh, but she's a woman. She'll 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 do things in office that uh, that are different because she's a woman. Give me a break. That's like saying vote for me because I have a vagina. That's not a reason to vote for someone. <laughs> and then, of course, there's all the people who will, will scream bloody murder and scream, you, you're, you, you just don't like her because she's a woman. <laughs> it's, it's insane. As far as I'm concerned, it's insane. And things I already talked about, but I'm going to mention again just to reiterate, you know, uh, Trump... Trump says all the things that he says, you know, not be, he 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 wants to be voted in. He wants to be president, so he'll say whatever it takes to to get people to vote for him. And with him, it's not about saying things that uh, uh, polls of of the Republican Party uh, say they want. He says things that are controversial to be put in the limelight. It works. It works for it worked for Madonna, it works for Lady Gaga. You know, it'll work for presidents. Say extreme things, get yourself in the limelight. Only take it just to a certain level. Hope that it doesn't become too violent, hope that it doesn't become too vile. And guess what? You'll you'll get a bunch of people supporting you. I mean, he's basically told He's basically called his uh, his supporters, his fans. He's basically called them stupid. Oh, but I love stupid people. Yeah, he does. He, he loves them because they'll vote for him. Because he's said some extreme things. He's getting a segment of the population that people don't normally tap into. He knows what he's doing in that regard. But as far as his actual policies... We have no idea what his policies would be. He doesn't know what his policies would be because he'll just he's just going to hire people to to take care of all that stuff just like any other president, but you know, he instead of trying to actually state what his opinions actually are or state what he's tilting towards, he just says whatever the fuck will uh, attract attention with within his party, within the party that he's running under anyway. Several years ago, when he fleetingly talked about running for president, he was going to run as a Democrat. But he, you know, as I said in the other video, uh, he figured it's easier to manipulate uh, uh, the stupid people that are on the right, the ones who will vote, literally vote against their own best interests. <laughs> because, oh no, if you vote for Democrats, it'll be, it'll be communism. They don't even know what they're talking about, but um, <laughs> it's 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 weird. Um, so we have no idea what a Trump presidency would be. We have no idea. It's it's a complete crapshoot. It's it's Russian roulette. But at this point, I sometimes wonder whether it might be a better alternative to Hillary. You know? Again, as I said at the beginning of this video, I don't know if I can vote for Hillary with a good conscience. I've changed very much on this subject. Initially, I was buying into all of the fear-mongering, uh, you know, towards Trump. And then realize, oh, wait a minute, he doesn't, he's not saying anything that he actually believes. We don't know, we have no idea what Trump believes. And we actually have no idea what Hillary believes, but we've got all of the, the fans, uh, you know, her, her fans seem to say, oh, well, well, no, no, she's, she's, uh, <laughs> well, she, she genuinely changed her mind or when she got new facts or, or, uh, God, I mean, there's, there's just every excuse under the sun for the way, for what Hillary does. 
Oh, she's not lying. She's she's not inconsistent. She's she's totally consistent. Really? Oh, that's interesting. I'd have more respect for her if she was to do what Trump is doing in the regard of let's state things that are controversial. If she said things that were controversial against uh, the types of positions that we think of Republicans having, you know, at least she'd be rallying people in ways that show that she has at least something different going on. No, nope, it's all about the polls. The thing, is, the thing is, I think Hillary does have a plan, but the plan has nothing to do with being good for us has nothing to, you know, it has to do with whatever's good for the banks, whatever's good for the corporations, whatever's good for the people that paid her the most. Trump doesn't seem like he's bought. Trump seems like he's going to run the country like a business. Trump looks at the presidency like, hey, I have the chance of temporarily being the CEO of the largest company in the world. He's narcissistic, he's egotistical, but at the same time, I think he has a better intentions than Hillary does. Look at how much Hillary it was was harping on on Bernie Sanders because he want he actually wants real universal health care, which the majority of the country wants. Look how much she was harping against him on that. No, no, we we need Romney care and Hillary care. Because it's good for the people that gave me money. It's, it's just pathetic. Our, our so much of our system is so corrupt, but we don't seem to see it. Our media is very powerful. And yet if you if you if we look at other countries and we look at their media, we'll say, look, that's just propaganda. Look, that's just propaganda. Well, what about our media? Oh, we have the free market. It can't be that way. We are essentially run by corporations. They own us. And if we can't get someone in office who is not owned by corporations, we're done. Because people are becoming more aware of this stuff. I mean, a lot of this stuff has been going on for a very long time. A very, very long time. And it's the age of the internet that has gotten us out of this, that has made us start to see how corrupt things actually are. The government can work for us, but it's not. I don't think the answer is to throw the baby out with the bathwater on, on any side. We need to fix what we have. And until we have someone in office that's willing to do that, we're screwed. <laughs>